Welcome to EVE Online, a major freak. We've got some interesting data. Like when I go up against Blood Raiders, my reactive armor says 50-50 for EM and Thermal. And this is an upwell. And it's firing cruise missiles, which claim to be doing a bunch of everything. But when I go to Major Freak and I check out the reactive armor hardener, we're going to see something kind of interesting because in the prior test, when it took two full ammo loads to get um, Seneche down to zero armor, it was mostly explosive and zero EM a bit of kinetic and a tiny bit of thermal. So I'm wondering, was that something else that was doing that? Possibly. And it hasn't kicked in yet because it's still the shields. So let's see what happens curious was i just mistakenly firing uh stuff at my own guy and and not realizing i was damaging it with other damage types and screw screwing the uh, skewing the uh, results okay look Let's see look at that why is it doing that and that's the exact same thing i saw why why is it doing that why is it tell why is it doing that why it incoming damage types it's not like oh i'm low on this resist against it. i need to put more to make it no so that's what's happening look at that and it's, is it random? Does it randomly give damage type? No, right? So what could be, what could be the issue here? I mean, now I'm, I, I'm like confused. Am I misinterpreting the mechanics of the reactive armor hardener? Or is the cruise missiles actually favoring explosive? Could you actually tank against explosive versus the upwell being more is the actual are the stats lying to us isn't that fascinating huh let's watch this again let's see what happens so is it something to do with the armor hardener wanting to equalize the resistances i not according to what we know, right? Is it trying to equalize this? Is it like it's putting zero into here? Is it desperately trying to equalize the resistances against the damage? And if it's equal, if it's so it's not aligning defenses against whichever incoming damage are prevalent as much as trying to make sure the resists there are no resist holes against whatever damage is coming in so if you're getting if you're getting um equal everything but your explosive you've got an explosive hole it will weigh more into that maybe that's why it's trying to shift so much to try to equalize is it going to shift like six, see 66 it's trying to equalize them it's going oh i want to get 66 on all of them i can't and i don't need to worry about em i'm getting em damage but i'm not caring about em you know because if it was equal you'd think 15 15 15 15 right no it's trying to plug holes so it's not as much aligning its defenses against whichever incoming damage types are 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 present i think they misworded like what what's 
prevalent. I mean, am I misunderstanding the, the terminology of prevalent? You know, prevalent definition? I, I don't know. Maybe the speak I, Iceland is, you know. What's the most powerful, right? But that's power. We're talking about weakness. So obviously we're going to misunderstand. So and I'm going to reload, um, do it again. And what do we got here? So we've, yeah, I think it's a misunderstanding of the wording. Does Eve University know about this? Reactive armor hardener. Uh, reactive armor hardener. Reactive armor, armor hardener. Hardener. Eve. Jimmy. Armor tanking. Uh, reactive armor hardener. Uh, reactive armor hardener. The model was the uh, standard armor and hardeners. Let me just watch it as I read. Mm hmm. See? Shift by 6% per, per damage per cycle. If you've been continuing to hide by only EM damage, each. Well, obviously. Um. Look, it doesn't talk about at all. Uh, the modules looks at damage after resist and shifts resistance. Okay, that might be the one to look at. Modules looks at damage after resist and shift shifts resistance accordingly. <gasps> oh, okay, got it. So their prevalent is kind of confusing. What word would we use? that would be best match for that um our proportional uh, damage types are uh, proportional against like how would i reword this whichever incoming damage types uh is able to align its defenses against Yeah, they're talking incoming. That that that's not that doesn't make any sense. It's it's saying you're you're talking about the incoming, and you're not thinking about after resist. So I think that's the wording we need to fix. This makes it able to align its defenses against whichever damage types are prevalent. And then you go. No, that's damage types that's wrong wording too it's completely wrong worded this makes it able to align its defenses against whichever damn it against which whichever damage types are, no it's just this makes it able to align its defenses no no that's not it at all this makes it able to pro this makes it able to uh, it's just this makes it able to align its def defenses um, against whichever uh whichever uh, yeah the, the whole wording is horrible um i'm gonna have to reword all of it i can't i can't swap words out basically yeah, see if eve university's wording is better um yeah i mean this the module looks at damage after resistance and he shifts resistances accordingly This makes the module useful even if you're receiving omni damage. Try to plug your worst holes. It's absolutely. And I didn't know that. Yeah, totally, right? So, first time I actually respect Reddit. Yeah. 
stuff's your resist total. Cool. Yeah. That's interesting. I never knew that. I just thought it... Well, you read it, and it says, oh, okay, which it thinks about the incoming damage type, and you go, oh, okay, well, that's easy, you know, Omni incoming, then it's going to go 15, 15, 15, and when you start looking at it, you're like, when you get Omni, right? Uh, that's interesting. So it'll plug a hole. Hmm. Which has never mattered to me because I just deal with the EM and thermal and I'm okay with 30-30, right? And it goes 50-50. Um, but I'm starting to think, okay, if it's 50-50, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting because the damage types of the omens incoming perfectly matches, like it'll be 78%, like watch. This is probably why I thought it was Yeah, see, um, uh, 63 and 38, and I had, like, I've got 91 and 85 for resistances on my Lashaks against Blood Raider stuff, and the Omens do the most damage, and it, when I look at this, it says 50 for the EM and 50 for Thermal, uh, sorry, 50 for Thermal, and I go, oh, okay, well, they're doing the same damage incoming, right? But that's weird, because this says... So I never quite understood it. It was like, wait, why is this lying to me? It was just, it would just, I just could, could not go by what it says. It seems really clear, whichever incoming type, you know, whichever incoming type is prevalent, present. Um, to me, it was like, okay, well, You've got thermal and kinetic. It'll be 50-50 between each, right? That's just what I thought. Yeah, um, and you read this over the four damage types, and you think damage types, you're not thinking... It never hints, even implies, even remotely, about um, plugging your resist holes, right? Not Nowhere. It Nowhere does it say that there. Um... Yeah, very, very bizarre. Um, but if you finally look at it while you're getting Omni damage, you go, oh, it's not that at all. But I've never had to deal with Omni damage. I've just, you know, just gotten through. Yeah, I was starting to think, am I getting, or is the cruise missile damage type? lying to us? Is it more explosive? No, it's actually trying to plug that hole. It would freaking help if they ordered the uh, the damage resistance to be, you know, EM, thermal, kinetic, and explosive. I don't know why they have this obsession with having, you know, maybe it's because of alphabetical, EM, explosive, kinetic, thermal. That's probably <laughs> just... <laughs> because reasons too funny that's fascinating hmm. so I started this video going hey we can exploit this explosive bias in cruise missiles too ah, I totally didn't know that about reactive hardeners cool <laughs>